Good morning to you on this Tuesday. As promised, we return now to Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, and we pick it up today at verse 42. Jesus said, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe to stumble, it would be better for him if with a heavy millstone hung around his neck he had been cast into the sea. Jesus takes very seriously how we treat other people, especially how we treat little ones, how we treat children. Remember there was a time when children were flocking to Jesus and the disciples were trying to stop them. And Jesus says, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to them belongs the kingdom of God. Jesus had a very special place in his heart for children and we should as well. And we should be very careful about what we teach them, what we show them and that we never place a stumbling block in their way to their faith. We need to realize too that this refers not only to our children, but to children in the faith. When we are born again, we are like infants who have just been born. We have so much to learn about the ways of God, about God's kingdom. We may have heard the message over Easter and given our hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are like newborn children. We have so much to learn about the faith and about walking with Jesus. And it's very important that those of us who are mature in the faith, that we never put a stumbling block in somebody's way, that we never do anything to harm this newborn faith, this young faith, that we do everything we can to build one another up and to help people and to set the example. Remember there's a saying that you may be the only Bible that somebody reads today. And that's a very, very important thing to remember. Many people look to our lives and we are, as children of God, as, as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are living witnesses, we are ambassadors, we are witnesses to the faith and people not only listen to what we say but they look at our lives and we have to be careful that we are always working in a way so as not to put a stumbling block uh, in anybody's way. In Paul's letter to the Romans he writes about eating meat sacrificed to idols and he said we know that idols are nothing and it doesn't really matter but if my eating of meat uh, causes somebody to stumble who's weaker in the faith and he said I'd rather not eat meat and you see this is the principle of love the principle of always looking out and making sure that we are doing everything to build people up and not to cause anybody to stumble in their faith the great thing is that we have God the Holy Spirit living in our hearts who leads us and guides us and helps us let's now thank God for this brand new day and we're living in the joy of Easter with the realization that our Lord is alive and that he is with us always. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. As we continue to celebrate Easter, as we continue to celebrate your victory over death, Lord, we ask that you would just help us to always be good witnesses to you, that you would help us, Lord, to reflect your love wherever we go, that the words of our mouth, the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, Lord, and pleasing to you that we would be a, a good witness, help us to be uh, good witnesses to children, to our, our children and to our grandchildren and to our great-grandchildren. Help us, Lord, to always set the right example, to show them and teach them to walk in love, to love you, to love their fellow man. We thank you for this day. As your word directs, Lord, we pray for our government, we pray for all in authority. We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and understanding to navigate through these difficult times in which we live. We pray for the people of the Ukraine who are suffering in this war. We pray for an end to this horrible war. We pray for peace. We pray that the enemy's plans be thwarted. We lift up before you, Lord, the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for the orphan. We pray for the widow. We pray for the lonely. We pray for the lost. We pray for those hearts that have not yet called out to you. We pray, Lord, that this would be the day. This would be the day they send a signal to you and say, Lord, I desire to be saved. Heavenly Father, all things are possible to you. So we submit to you once again. We ask that you take us by the hand, that you lead us and guide us. Help us to walk in your ways. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name, that I may walk in your truth. So Lord, we now surrender all to you, and we ask that you would hear us as we join together in praying the great prayer that you have given to us. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.